No matter where you are in the world, you depend on the ocean. If you think about it, there aren't five big oceans. It's one big ocean. Did you know that the ocean makes up 71% of the planet? Yeah. That's crazy. So it like shouldn't even be called planet Earth, it should be called planet ocean. Exactly. I'm Amelia. I'm Emmy. And my name's Molly. From the NOAA Ocean Guardian Program to help the ocean. Everyone in the world, all the different continents, we're all connected by the same ocean. It's filled with beauty and with life. It's strong, it's calming, it's inspirational. Humans have only discovered like a couple percent, very little of the ocean. Very, very little of the and ocean. We're finding a lot of new creatures that we didn't even know existed before. But we wouldn't be able to breathe without the ocean. If you think about it, no matter where you live, everyone depends on a healthy ocean for so many things. It's our life support. The ocean regulates our climate. Most of the oxygen we breathe comes from the ocean. The ocean gives us food. The ocean gives us medicine and jobs and a place to have fun and explore. And the ocean makes us feel good. And even though the ocean covers most of our planet, there's still so much we don't know about it. We know way more about what's on the land, but we do know that we only have one ocean and we've got to take care of it. I've lived here my entire life and I just found out last year that there was a marine sanctuary in Monterey Bay. National Marine Sanctuary is an area of ocean that is protected by the government. About 40 years ago, our government started to set aside special areas in our ocean called National Marine Sanctuaries. These National Marine Sanctuaries were created to keep areas of the ocean and Great Lakes safe and secure from things like pollution and overfishing. They are similar to our national parks that we have on land, like the Grand Canyon and Yosemite National Park except these national marine sanctuaries are along the coastlines and out under the water. There are 13 national marine sanctuaries all over the United States. These national marine sanctuaries and the National Monument are all part of the National Marine Sanctuary System, which is run by a governmental agency called NOAA. That's short for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Here with you, I'm in The ocean is so big that it's hard to imagine anything harming it. But the sad fact is that the ocean's health is in danger. What's becoming more and more obvious is that what we do on land can harm the ocean. Even if you don't live by the beach, you do live in a watershed that is somehow connected to the ocean. A watershed is an area of land, big or small, where all the water drains into the same place. And it's an important concept to understand when it comes to taking care of the ocean. We are making a paper model of a watershed. A little bit of greenery. A little meadow up here. I am rain or snow. <laughs> As the rain moves across a watershed, some of the water gets soaked into the ground. Watersheds can include small streams flowing into larger streams, which can flow into rivers and then eventually into the ocean. But the water that runs over our rooftops, down on the streets and parking lots and sidewalks, this rain that doesn't seep into the ground flows down storm drains and through pipes that can eventually make its way to the ocean. But along with the rainwater, litter and waste and other pollution can also flow through the watershed to the streams and lakes, and also down into the storm drains, and again, eventually making its way into the ocean. Even if you can't see it, even if you can't see the damage that's being done, just know that it's there. Think of this river the good news is, we can do things on land to prevent this from getting worse. And that's where you come into this story. Most people think that I'm just one person. What am I going to do? I can't do anything. That's a big mistake because it's you, it's each person doing their part that makes the big change overall. That if everybody makes one change a day, that's a lot of changes. Nature and creatures, they're like part of us. We have the power to protect the ocean from the threats that are facing our environment. There are many ways you can become an Ocean Guardian. Participate in local restoration projects and cleanups and share your work with others in your community. Reduce, reuse, recycle, and rot ways to create to keep it out of landfills and the ocean. There are so many ways to be an Ocean Guardian, from reducing your energy use at home and school, to riding your bike, to 
to teaching your friends and family about the ocean and the issues that are threatening its health. Protecting the ocean takes all of us making all kinds of changes. You can be a change maker. So ask yourself, what changes can I make to be an ocean guardian? I'd give up plastic straws. I would give up plastic straws. No, I, would yeah, give up, I would give up all straws because like they're fun, but really, do you really need like a little tube? Yeah. I like whales. I, like I like dolphins. I love otters. They're just so entertaining and so cute. I like how they roll and they have the babies on their tummies and they and crack them. Yeah, they crack their food and then they eat it. They and it is yeah. like a treasure chest down there. So we're just protecting the future. We can't even begin to imagine what's down there and what we're saving. Ocean, ocean, watch the tides roll in slowly.